Hey guys, so I am back with another tutorial and in this video we're going to be talking about properties inside the Blender game engine. And the reason I'm making this tutorial is because I got a I got a request from this guy and he asked well not really a request but he asked me a question about properties. So then I gave him a pretty long answer. But I decided that it's really important things that I think a lot of you should know. So I decided to make a full video on it. So in this if in this post I explain how the way you think about it is that you first create a variable, then then you make an equation and then you add a function. So the way I'm gonna be assuming that is that I'm gonna use a health bar as an example. Or ammunition. Uh, we'll, f we'll, start, we're, we'll first start off with the health bar and then I'm gonna give you an example with, uh, with the ammunition. So let's make this Blender game. And we're gonna go into game logic. And what I'm gonna do is that we're gonna first add a variable, which is add game property. By the way, this is all just terms that I use. It's not gonna be written in the Blender wiki or anything like that. This is just the way I think of things because I kind of self thought all this. I didn't actually watch tutorials because I guess I just understood the basics and after the basics, I just use I guess logic to figure everything else because I just think of it from a mathematical standpoint. So let's say uh, we have integer. So we can add these different things. A timer is pretty much just a float, which is a number with decimals, and it increases over time. So let's say if this is at zero, this is gonna increase to one every second. It's gonna add one every second like that, okay? So, and if we have a string, a string is pretty much just a string of letters. In other words, a word. And we have to know that these words don't mean anything it's just a variable because it's like X or Y or Z. But you can use words. So let's say off and on is a string that I would use. And then we have float, which I already explained. It's pretty much just a number with decimals. Then integers, just whole numbers. And Boolean, I have no idea what it is. And I think that was added on recently because I don't remember seeing that in the older versions of Blender because I've been using the game in quite a while and I don't remember seeing that except I haven't been using it recently in the new builds because I've been doing more modeling so that's why I'm pretty behind. Anyways, once we're gonna create an integer and call this health, health uh, points, say that. So let's say health points is equivalent to 10 or let's just say five. So when health points, so we're gonna make, so now that we have the variable in place and its value, we're gonna create an equation. And generally what you do is that, let's say you add a touch feature so that when it's touching the material of bullet or something that is creating, is adding damage, we, that's our sensor. But because we can't really set up, it's gonna take too long to set up. I'm just gonna do a keyboard and do space. So let's add an actuator and add a property. So that whenever space is pressed, you add the property of, you add to the property of health point, negative one, wait, negative one, not negative two. Negative one. So in other words, what's going on is that when you press the space button, you're adding negative one to the integer property. So the way I explained it in the post is that I said that the sensor set the scenario for the equation to happen. And the equation consists of a variable, which is our property and you're adding or subtracting or assigning another value. So, and that equals an end result. And that end result is just the number that we have. So now we need to add a function to it. And the way we're gonna add a function is that we, 
we do something like let's say a property property sensor and when property sensor is e well, when the property of health points is equivalent to the value of zero we then add an actuator of let's say game ends quit game so let's say if we were to play this out we're, we're pretending that every time we press space you're getting hit by an attack so right now you have five health points i press it one two three four five and the game ends that's because the integer of five is being decreased every time so that's a way that you can do health points except you just change this keyboard into something like a touch sensor or whatever you do that causes it to lose points so now that i now i'm gonna explain to you ammunition the way ammunition is done is that you use a text and let's say i'm just gonna make this i'm just gonna say 10 and you add a text property and the way we're gonna do this is that we're gonna add an integer so right now the integer is equivalent to 10 so whatever number you put and by like just going to edit mode whatever number it is over here or word is pretty much just what the variable is equivalent to so let's say if we were to add a word a text then that would be considered a string so anyways now that we have the number value 10 we're gonna make it so that every time you press space, every time, let's say you shoot a gun, you then add a property, you add the value of negative one. So now we're gonna see what's actually going on. You first start off with 10, but every time you press space, you lose one, except now it's gonna go to negatives and we don't really want that. So a way to fix that is that you add another property. Well, you add a property, not we had a keyboard before. You make it, you add an interval one and make the minimum one and the maximum 10. So pretty much what will happen is that when you press space, it looks to make sure that because it's an and controller, it will only work if you press space while interval uh, while the property of text is between the number one to ten. So if it's at zero, it won't work. So that's a way we can fix it. So let's say we press this. You'll press it until zero, and then at zero, it won't work. So now let's say if you want to make it a reload, what you do is that you do keyboard. Let's just say R. And then you add another property. And then you do assign text. So you make sure you assign the number of 10, the value of 10. You, no matter what value it is, it will end up as 10 when you press R. However, let's say if you just want to make it so that you reload once that's zero, you add another property, make it so that this will only work if the text value is equivalent to zero. So if we co connect those two, we can make it so that, let's say, we're at eight, if you press R, nothing will work. It will only work once you're at zero, and once you're at zero, if you keep on pressing space, it won't go into a negative number. And then if you press R, it will go back to 10. So that's a cool way of making ammuni ammunition. And a way you can do this with, and the way to, this is just a visual representation of the numbers that you have. So a way to make it so that, let's say, you want to actually shoot something, what I would do is that, let's say, we had a player object. And then you would hold, you would click the text, and you would shift select the object, the cube. Then let's say you edit object. And then we had our first one, which is keyboard space. Plus this, you would do like, you would make it so that it edit, you would add a, you would do an edit object accurator. And then edit object will create a bullet object, which will shoot. And that's one way of doing it. I th there's also other ways to make a gun kind of thing, except I forgot another way. There's also one with like, 
Python and how you use rays but I forgot how to do that I'll try to figure it out soon so I can make a video about it so pretty much that's how it works that's how properties are used they're pretty much just numbers they're variables and let's say if you were to do a gun switching you would make it so that let's say you have you have like uh you have let's say an AK assigned to number one an M4 assigned to number two and then what you do is that you just add it so that you first start with like one you start with your main gun and then let's say if you press the key two or like let's say you know how in oh what's an example of a game I'm not so sure in some games you have it so that if you press the if you press like number one number two number three you can switch guns so we can make it so that let's say if you press the keyboard one you assign the property to equal to one you can also make it so that each gun is assigned to a property number so then that's how you just switch between weapons and properties can it can be used in a variety of ways and i find that it is the most important part to using the blender game engine without using python because without python this is probably the most uh useful thing and it's also a bit of python because uh this is pretty much these numbers are pretty much just the basics of python it's pretty much just it's just looking at things from a mathematical standpoint and hopefully what i'm saying is correct i i haven't been uh uh, properly I figured everything out myself so uh, this is I might say things different to what they say in the books because I'm pretty much just looking at this from a logical standpoint everything that just how I see it works but let's say the things that I say the vocabulary might be different to what other people say so yeah that's pretty much the end of this video thanks for watching and please uh if you want you can follow me on facebook and i have a page there and i'll be answering any questions that you have i'll put a link in the description below if you like this video please like and favorite it or favorite if you want or send it to any of your friends that are interested in game programming you know because it's a it's a cool hobby so that's pretty much it Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, just send me a message. And thanks.